Okay, not sure if I'm recording, but um, anyway, I had a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about really quick, um, so I'm going to make it fast. It's about acne, and pretty much everyone suffers from it, whether you're a teenager or a, an adult. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy as usual. Um, acne is the number one skin, skin disorder, and our skin, by the way, is the largest organ on our body, and it has a memory to it. Um, if you, say for example, you've got breakouts and you want to get rid of them, so you scrub that skin and scrub that skin in effort, try to get everything out. What you're doing is you're sending a signal to your skin, the underlying layer, and it wakes it up and the underlying layer says, hey, we don't have enough oil on top. So as a result, they end up making more oil come to the surface and you've totally trained your skin to produce more oil. Um, so, you know, you don't want to be too aggressive with your uh, cleansing routine. Now, one thing you want to always consider when treating acne is to go easy on it. Don't over-exaggerate the cleansing. You want to get those uh, pores unblocked. So, um, you need to use a really good cleanser and maybe one that possibly has, has a little bit of salicylic acid in it um, because it's a very small molecule and it can get really deep into that pore um, and clean it out. I'm so sorry. Anyway, they hate the cat. Um, so anyway, you want to really get that clean, and uh, that would be the best one to go. You, if you have a sensitivity to that, you might try a lactic acid, because sometimes um, going the easy and gentle route is best for acne or acneic skin. You want to also keep the skin pH balanced at all times. Use a toner. If you don't have a toner... <laughs> Betty, quit it. Betty, no. Go away. <laughs> if you don't have a toner, go the easy route with some witch hazel or even you can use some ice cold water. I boil a bag of chamomile tea and then I pour it into a small uh, spritz bottle and I keep it in the fridge. When I get up in the morning, I spritz, spritz, spritz and it's wonderful. If the pH of your skin is right, then uh, bacteria cannot grow on it. So hey, if you get that right, then you're good to go. Always use a oil-free moisturizer because even if you have oily skin, your skin can still be dehydrated. It needs that natural moisture. So if you put an oil-free moisturizer on your skin, it creates that layer and the underlying skin cells and everything say, hey, we don't need to put more, more oil up there because we've got some already. That's, that's a good thing to do. So don't be afraid to put an oil-free moisturizer on your skin. Um, so unclog those pores exfoliate maybe once or twice a week add a little bit of baking soda to your cleanser and you always want to use if you have um, acneic skin in most cases you want to use a very gentle cleanser and probably a gel based cleanser okay um, if you can get a really good antibacterial cleanser that is the best thing so you kill the bacteria by doing that and then you keep it pH balanced Put a, um, a little bit of oil-free uh, moisturizer on there, and that's going to help a lot. So, you know, if you've got a lot of inflammation, which uh, the the breakouts are like little pus-filled inflammation things, unfortunately, that's gross. But um, if you get that too much, it actually damages the collagen that's underneath and without the collagen you have scars as a result and I have them um, probably everyone has a few of those um, where it just created a really bad scar and that's why and uh, we all suffer from breakouts I mean I'm like going through the uh, you know I'm a hormonal person to begin with and now I'm getting acne again it's like whoa um, this isn't fair <laughs> I've already done that been there done that got the shirt I mean I'm growing a new chin down here okay um, but it happens to all of us so um, just try to follow those three uh, main rules there 
and you should be good. I hope this helps. So anyway, if you have any questions, ask me, and I'll try to answer them for you the best that I can. And I really appreciate your time and listening to me and the dogs. So um, have a blessed day. Be great. Thank you.